Hi, and welcome to a new episode of William Owen's Apple Arcade Adventures, a series where I play 15 to 30 minutes of an Apple Arcade game and tell you what I think about it. Today, we are looking at The Pathless, an action-adventure game developed by Giant Squid that was released in 2020. If you don't have Apple Arcade, don't leave just yet. The game is also available on PlayStation and Steam. I always like to show you the intro of the game before talking about it, so here it is. Basically, the game is all about gliding fast by shooting the targets scattered all around. You need to unlock some shrines to be able to then fight the bosses and restore the land. There's quite a few platforming based puzzle elements and the gliding feels real good. You can feel the speed when you're fully charged and it's great. Sometimes it's hard to know where to go, as there is no map, but it kinda makes sense for a game called Pathless, and exploring the beautifully crafted land seems to be kind of the point of the game. At first, when you arrive, you need to restore that huge eagle, and to do so, you have to somewhat purify three towers. To do that, you have to find those animal-shaped tablets. Man, I suck at explaining this stuff, but I'm pretty sure that smart people like my viewers can get what I'm trying to get at. Once it's done, you'll get more story and lore, which is great, but you'll also get that super cute eagle companion. You can even pet it. What an amazing thing indeed. Oh, and of course, it comes with mechanics. The eagle can help you glide in the air and can also go fetch stuff for you. Those mechanics come into play right after you get your eagle and I have no doubt it'll be more and more complex as the game progresses. There's not much enemies. Actually, there's no enemies at all, apart from the bosses at least from what I saw in my limited playtime, and I just got wrecked by the first boss. I believe it's because I didn't unlock all the shrine towers yet. Anyway. Now on to more technical stuff. I played on an iPhone 11 and while it performed great in general, I did get a few stutters, and I do believe it's pushing my phone to its limit as it was quite hot after my play session. I've seen worse, but it's worth noting. I played both with touch controls and with a controller, and as usual, controller is a win for me. Touch controls are fine, but it gets harder when you have some more complex platforming to do. Keep in mind, I just played for around 45 minutes, and I'm sure I could get quite a bit better with practice. So this is pretty much it. I played the game for about 45 minutes and had a great time. I love how it looks and sounds, and I intend to play the whole game. So let me know if you want me to post a playthrough on the channel. Anyway, if it helped you, please leave me a like or a comment, and if you're curious about a particular Apple Arcade game, let me know and I'll cover it as soon as I can. Thanks for watching and bye bye.